So I think I've come up with a pretty inexpensive uh, workable solution to top cover for the 3D printed face shields. If someone else has already come up with this, I apologize. I haven't seen this on the internet and I wanted to get this out as fast as possible. Sorry for the low quality, low budget uh, thing, but I'm trying to get this out there. So we've got a quickly printed face shield, transparency paper clipped to it, a bag, set the bag, set the face shield near the bag. Now what's going to happen is we're kind of making a button. So you're going to stick the pin through one handle, just twist it, come through, just like a button, just like you would a, a button like on a sweater. Or, and then after it's through, you're going to twist it to the appropriate tightness. Then at some point, oh, then you're going to take the pin and stick it under so it locks. And then you're going to crumple up any excess bag and put it in the back so it looks a little bit better. So, so I've got my pin in there, I've got my face shield. I'm going to grab it, put it up to my head, pull the piece through, put the pin, and twist so it's tight on my head. I'm going to take the excess, squeeze it, get the air out, and then tuck it under. So there's the shield. I mean, that went on pretty quickly. And the nice thing about it is you do not have to clean any elastic. All you have to do is throw the bag away and get a new bag. These are easy to come by bags. Uh, it should prevent any top cover. I went walking around the block last night in 15 to 20 mile an hour winds with rain. Came back, shield was perfectly intact, face was perfectly intact, or hair was not wet, anything. So there it is. Uh, I haven't tried this with other 3D printed shields, but I think this could probably work. Um, even if you have elastic, you could still probably do the same thing and uh, close any gap along there. So no elastic, just a bag holding on the head, really cheap. Thank you. Hope this helps.